from one all too common predicament to another, one for which there's no prevention. As long as boys are made the way they are, things like railings and goldfish bowls will remain an irresistible attraction. And when this happens, and it's always happening, it's a job for specialists, the fire brigade. These days, the only jack of all trades who is master of them all is the fireman. For putting out fires is only part of his job. He's equipped to tackle practically any emergency, whether dramatic or slightly humorous like this. These men happen to be from Hertfordshire Brigade's Watford Station, although their methods are fairly representative of most fire brigade techniques. This ingenious bit of equipment, the latest high-speed method of freeing youngsters' heads from railings, is just part of the odd gear carried by a new emergency tender which has everything but the kitchen sink. Although we've no doubt they'll add that to it one of these days. For young rascals like this, all's well that ends well. But in contrast, firemen are often called in to release someone trapped against a wall by a heavy lorry or a bus. In this case, London Transport cooperate with the brigade in an exercise to illustrate the best method of rescue. The utmost care is needed because, apart from the casualty, if the bus is lifted at a fractionally wrong angle, it could tip over. With the heavy lifting gear carried by the tender, weights of 12 tons or so present no problem at all. First aid has always been part of the fireman's stock in trade, but the new tender is practically a miniature casualty station with two types of stretcher, conventional and Neil Robertson. However, in a lighter vein, take a look at this handyman's dream, the mobile workshop. Now you know what to tell that persistent neighbor who's always wanting to borrow a spanner. Tell him to join the fire brigade. When an obstruction can't be levered away, cutting gear, such as portable oxyacetylene burners, electric drills and even hacksaws are brought into play. This set, which can cut through inch-thick steel in a few minutes, uses oxygen from containers strapped to the operator's back, while the electric drill is powered by the tender's own generator. As we said before, everything but the kitchen sink. You never know when something outlandish might come in handy. Much depends on the ingenuity of the individual brigade, but certain apparatus, of course, such as the resuscitation sets, are essential. Finally, another use for the tender zone generator, powerful floodlights literally turning a new light on an already heartwarmingly bright service. <laughs> 